Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Panini Absolute Baseball. Five box, half case, pick your team number two. One spot gets you two random teams. Remember I marked all of those six so you know that they're from the same case. A very big thank you to this crew right here for getting in on the action. One spot gets you two teams. So let's uh, double up. Uh, uh. And there's all 30 teams right there. Like Sir mix lot. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Four and a six, ten times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and once more, tenth and final time. After ten, got Will down to Steve. Four and a six, ten times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten, four and a six, ten times. After ten, we've got the Yankees all the way down to the Texas Rangers. All right, Will with the Yankees, Terry with the Angels, Chris with the Rays, Greg with the A's, Eric with the Braves, Chris with the Giants, Eric with the Padres, Anthony with the Brewers, Will with the Pirates and the Phillies, the Pennsylvania teams, Peter with the Nats, Greg with the Diamondbacks, Logan with the Red Sox, Peter with the Reds, Twins, Astros, Will with the Indians, uh, Terry with the Royals, Rex, you got my Dodgers, Will with the Tigers, Rex with the Orioles, Greg with the Cardinals, Greg also has the Blue Jays, Steve with the Marlins and the Mets, Anthony with the Rockies, Steve with the White Sox, Will with the Cubs, Logan with the Mariners, and Steve with the Texas Rangers. All right, so let's get all that. I know it's kind of tiny on the screen, but if you want to trade, feel free to trade. So I got all that set up. Okay, we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades in the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. There was a trade. Look at that. Logan and Greg with the trade. So uh, Logan offered up Red Sox for Cardinals. Greg's like, hey, Cardinals, Red Sox, good with me. So Greg, you're now in the Red Sox spot. And we'll put T next to, the, next to that for trade. Right there so we know who draws first blood in the trade. Logan, down to the Cardinals, put T next to there for trade. The trade window's closed. Let's print and rip, and let's see who gets what in the second half of this absolute case that we popped open. There it is. So break six. I think I have all the top loaders I need here. And the final printout. Thanks everyone for getting in and making this happen. And after this break, uh, I forgot to do it before the break, but after this break, I'll post another one. We've got another case of this that we, we can work through half case at a time. And a great value in this too, with one spot, um, with one spot getting you two teams. I think that's what, what, it's some great value in some baseball. Especially since we've seen some sneaky good hits pop out of this uh, this absolute. All right, we got Whit Merrifield leading us off an all card ship. Got a Sandy Koufax to 149 and a Freddie Freeman to 199. Kind of funny, Freddie Freeman actually hitting a home run off another great Dodger lefty, Clayton Kershaw, earlier today in a Braves win over my Dodgers. There's Rymel Tapia, Tools of the Trade dual relic. That'll be for Anthony and the Rockies. Behind Jimmy Fox is, wow, nice, iconic ink, Pedro Martinez, 7 out of 15. Greg drawing first blood in the trade. 
getting the Hall of Famer Pedro Martinez. Nice. All right, on the other side, we got Sixto Sanchez to 149, rookie class. And Kenta Maeda for the Twins to 149. We got Harrison Bader, nice three color patch, 17 out of 25. And that'll be for Logan and the Cardinals. And behind Jimmy Fox is Josh Naylor for the Tribe. That goes to Will Driggers, last spot mojo strikes again. Yeah, I think Mount Castle might be the main guy you're looking for, Rex. Probably, probably like cross your fingers for some old school guys like Cal Ripken. Reggie Jackson, power card to 25 for the Bronx Bombers. The straw that stirs the drink. Bo Bichette for Toronto to 99. We got Kevin Crimere, 79 out of 99. Big jumbo patch for the Rays. Chris Lambros. And behind Shane Bieber is 14 out of 60. Nice baseball signatures. Rookie auto right in the middle, Luan Diaz for the fish. Steve Birch with Miami. All right, there you go, Steve. I love the uh, all the different baseball stitching colors that they have here in this absolute. There's out of 25, Billy Martin for the Bronx Bombers and Walker Bueller for the Dodgers to 99. You got Domingo Leva, Tools of the Trade, Six-Way Relic. Uh, for the Snakes, that'll be for Greg and the Diamondbacks. And we got an Ian Anderson. Tools of the Trade, Quad Relic, and Autograph. For the Braves, Eric C. For the Braves, beating my Dodgers today. be a good rest of the series too. All right. Next box. We need um we're only 2 months into the season, but we really need like a a rookie to really start heating up. Ladies and gentlemen, who do you think that rookie is going to be? I want to know your opinions. Share share your thoughts in the chat. Cabrian Hayes is back after after a long stint on the IL. He could be a big name to search for in here. I think Alec Baum is a rookie card in this set, in 2021 sets. So I want to see him, you know, show what he did last year. Finishing second in, in a rookie of the year voting.
Got Jeff McNeil to 199. We got Chris Bryant to 149. And we've got Tools of the Trade for Houston. Jeff Bagwell, part of the old Killer Bees, goes to Peter and the Strohs. And behind Prospects card, Spencer Torkelson, it's Adonis Medina. Rookie autograph right on that piece of baseball. Going to the Phillies, Will, with the Phils. Yeah, I think Cronenworth's the rookie in this set, right, Logan? I think this year? Yeah, fine, Jay Cronenworth. Let's do it. It'll happen. Ooh. Kaboom! Fernando Tatis Jr. Cronenworth's teammate. This goes to Eric C. and the San Diego Padres. Nice. Yeah, he can certainly make some kabooms with that bat. 17 home runs already. And think about it. The guy was on the IL with that shoulder injury and then some COVID-related thing, whether he had it or maybe he was in proximity or something like that, whatever it was, he missed some time there too. So how many games has he missed? 15 games, maybe? I mean, how many more home runs is that? Could he be at 25? Possible. There's Ed Roush. We got Yoshitomo Sutsugo, Rays edition. He's with the Dodgers now. That goes to Chris and the Tampa Bay Rays. Rays released him. Dodgers picked him up. And we got Daz Cameron. Another nice baseball autograph. Rookie auto. I like the black stitching right here. Going to the Tigers. That'll be for Will. Are you talking about Tatis rookies, Logan? I mean, I think you just got to... I think you can't really sell Tatis rookies, could you? I think he's like at that Luka Doncic level where you just you're just kind of have to unless you unless you need to flip it for you know for financial reasons but if you can afford to hold on to it you would think you got to hold for as long as possible cuz you got to I mean it's way too early to even talk about anything like this but if you're speculating that he's going to be Let's just say one of the all-time greats. You know, the value of that card could only continue to go up. I mean, you don't want to start comparing him to, like, sort of, uh, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Some of the bigger elite name baseball names in the hobby. But if you think, could he be in that range? I don't know. We'll have to find out. Good night, Jonathan. We'll have, we're going to find out. I would be inclined to hold. I think baseball is more about that anyway, isn't it? Especially with the rookies. It's more about getting a bunch of rookies or even those Bowman cards, you know, or rookies out of Panini stuff, grading them and holding on to them. You know, like the rated rookie cards, grade them, hold on to them, and then... You know, you just, hopefully he turns out to be something big and then you could resell for, for pretty big money, I would think. I would hope. That's the hope anyway. You know, that's the trend for some of the other top players in the league whose cards sell for a lot. There's Yammer Candelario to 149. Mookie Betts reveals another Tatis Jr., Dual Relic, 88 out of 99. That'll be for Eric and the Padres.
Yeah, Will, yeah Will, Will's right. Will brings up a good point. It's like selling A-Rod with potentially 50 stolen base speed. Can't do it. There's Tatis' teammate, Ryan Weathers. He is an NL guy, so an autograph on a bit of his lumber. That is 34 out of 50. You know, and if the NL gets the DH which I think it might in the next year or two, then that means Satis Jr. You know, isn't throwing himself around on the field. It's even better off offensive numbers potentially for Tatis Jr. Ryan Weathers as well. It's pretty good. No relation to Carl Weathers. There's rookie class Dylan Carlson. And another kaboom? And another Tatis kaboom? Wow. I mean, we're lucky enough to find one Kaboom, let alone two, let alone the same player. Go buy a lottery ticket, Eric. I mean, now you got two that I would send in for grading. Here's to 199. So grade those out. Nomar Mazzara, two-color, dual relic for Chicago. That's going to be for Steve Birch and the White Sox. And behind Betts is Nick Neidert. Rookie autograph for Miami. That's going to be for Steve Birch. And the final box, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. I don't think, you, I don't think UCLA is winning this game. All right, final two mini boxes. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for the fill. I appreciate it. We got Cody Bellinger to 99. And Ken Boyer to 199. We got Andre Dawson, the Hawk. Got a bit of the Cubs pinstripe in that dual relic. Going to Will and the Cubbies. For the Diamondbacks, we got Paven Smith. Rookie autograph for Greg and the Snakes. How's he been doing? He's been he's been called up and playing, I want to say, for the Diamondbacks. There's a blog post set that's titled The Irresistible Rise of Paven Smith. Uh, he is currently doing okay. He's hitting 288, 5 home run, 21 RBIs. There you go. A 794 OPS. It's pretty nice. Pretty solid season for Paven Smith. All right, last group here. We got Yogi Berra, 6 out of 10. Trey Turner to 99. And the last two hits. Good luck, everybody. There's Edwin Rios, 39 out of 99. For the Dodgers, that's Rex with my Dodgers. And back here is Luis Patino for the Tampa Bay Rays. Three out of 50. Autograph on a piece of his lumber. 
And that'll be for Chris and the Tampa Bay Rays. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Pretty nice break in the books. The next break, so this is pick, uh, Random Team 6, Random Team 7, half case from a fresh case. Get in on it on jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll break that with you next time. Bye-bye.